Out of the 20 million deaf children in the world, India is home to 3.6 million. And according to professional estimates, although they all enjoy the right to education, 9 out of 10 don't go to school. Deaf children in India are mostly victims of poverty and social exclusion. For many of them, education is the only way out. Sri Pachiappal School for the Hearing Impaired is a special school in the pretty town of Puducherry that sees education as the liberating factor for deaf children in India. The school was established in 1994 with just six students and one special teacher in a single room, but with a strong belief that every deaf child has the right to the same opportunities as a hearing child and the right to be included and valued by society. Today, the school has 120 students, 16 teachers and classes from pre-primary to grade 10. This is the pre-primary section of the school at Satyamurti Nagar with seven classes. And this is the primary and secondary section of the school at Tenga Tittu with eight classes. Let's take a look at a typical day at Spishi. The day begins at 9 with students and teachers gathering to recite a prayer and a pledge. They hoist the national flag, write and discuss the thought for the day and also the news for the day. The children then move into their classes. The first class usually begins with getting to know the day and date and then a conversation based on a student's personal experience. Up to class 4, a lot of emphasis is laid on language learning for which a number of techniques are followed. Auditory training is given to students to train their residual hearing to listen and learn a language. Speech therapy is given to students to draw out their voice and to correct and improve their speech. Since the school follows the curriculum of Tamil Nadu State Board, the older students focus more on the usual subjects, math, science, social studies and not to forget practicals in the lab. It's lunch time. All the children sit in a circle, spread out their napkins and have a good meal. Even the young ones are trained to eat by themselves. After lunch, it's usually time for some lighter activities. So, academics is given a break and students are engaged in co-curricular activities like singing and dancing, playing fun games, indoor games, learning to use the computer, doing art and craft work, drama and physical exercises. That was a normal day at Spishi. The school celebrates the festivals of all major religions and cultures. Also, special occasions like the World Day for the Disabled and the World Day for the Deaf are made really special for the kids. Take for example, Children's Day. This year, the day began with the kids putting up a fancy dress show. This was followed by some dance performances. Game for the teachers and then some fun games for the kids. The school also organizes a picnic annually and educational tours every alternate year. Sports day is also a grand event. 
The students also actively participate in science exhibitions, drawing competitions and in various other activities where they compete with non-impaired children. In fact, students have won several prizes at the state, regional and zonal level science exhibitions. The school even created history by becoming the first school for the hearing impaired to qualify for the nationals. A lot of importance is given to parent education and counselling. Parents reg regularly observe the child's class to learn teaching techniques and the child's learning style. They also happily participate in the daily functioning of the school and in organising school programmes. Since most of the children come from low-income families, the school arranges sponsorships for their education that includes hearing aids, uniforms and stationery. We have a ear mole lab where ear moles are made not only for children but also for the public at minimal rates. The school also organizes free general, dental and ENT checkups for the students. It also organizes refresher courses for the teachers, hearing awareness programs and provides training to aspiring teachers in the methods and techniques of teaching the deaf. All the six both going batches of class 10 have had a 100% pass record. When the first batch did so in their very first attempt, it was the first time for hearing impaired children in Puducherry. In 2009, the school won the Best Institution Award from the Department of Social Welfare, Puducherry. Based in the Union Territory of Puducherry, Spishi is the only NGO for the hearing impaired. If you want more information or wish to support this cause, please feel free to contact us.